square, then hoop a piece of paper and embroider the die line. You can embroider the die lines directly onto the paper. Make a sandwich with cutaway stabilizer on the bottom, fabric, and the template on top. You can use a little bit of spray adhesive to keep the layers together. Cut around the outside and inside of the fabric for the photo frame. Now we'll make the back of the frame. Take a piece of medium to heavyweight interfacing and put the template for the back of the frame on top. Cut out the shape. The frame back and front are cut and waiting, so now we're ready to embroider the design. Hoop a piece of medium weight tearaway stabilizer. The first part of the design to sew is a die line. That will trace the area where you'll place the fabric. Give the fabric a quick shot of spray adhesive and put that fabric right in the die line. Continue embroidering the design. Other elements and details of the design will sew, including the inner border and one end of the outside of the frame. On the color change sheet, you'll see a note that says back piece tack down. Right when you get to this point, stop the machine and remove the hoop. Give each corner of that interfacing a quick shot of spray adhesive. Place that interfacing on the back side of the embroidery, right in the sewn die line. For the next steps, use a bobbin with the same thread that you're using in the top. Continue embroidering the design. The next thing to sew will be a tack down stitch. That's a zigzag stitch that will hold that interfacing tightly to the fabric. And then a satin stitch border, which holds it in place permanently. After the design has finished, unhoop the stabilizer and tear it gently away. Now we'll add magnets to the back, and this is an optional step. You can get self-adhesive magnets from most craft stores, or you can apply magnets with hot glue. And then all you have to do is add your favorite photo. And then put that photo frame in a place where you can show off